Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my December favorites video, and I'm really excited because it's my first favorites video ever on YouTube. So, yeah, let's just, I guess, get started. So my first favorite, I also start with, start with makeup, um, is this palette from CoverGirl. It is an eye enhancer, and it just has really, really pretty colors. I hope you can tell. My camera's not really wanting to zoom, but or focus at all. I don't really know how to get it focused yet, but, um, just really pretty browns and beige. This, um, if you, it's just really kind of shimmery. I love this color. This color is my favorite. It's just very, very cool and shimmery. So I hope you could see that. Oh, like, wipe it off. Okay. <laughs> So I love, love, love that, and I'm pretty sure this is really old, so I don't know if you can get this, but just similar, like, brown colors, I think, are gorgeous during the winter. Um, my next thing, I guess, is this brush, and it is the Eye Defining Brush from Very Essentials, and I honestly use this brush to apply all my makeup during, like, in the school. I use it to apply this, and this, and this, and this, and I just kind of blend it all together on my eye, and it is the perfect, it kind of dense and it um, is angled as you can tell and I think it is a really nice color you can take the corner and I like blend it in my crease and I take the inside corner it's just like perfect for everyday usage okay so my next favorite of the month has to be this chapstick and it's just like a normal chapstick but it smells amazing it smells like cherries I actually took off the casing so it's just like the chapstick that you get at like the drugstore or something I don't really know but um, it smells amazing, and it's so moisturizing, and it's pink. It doesn't really add a lot of color to your lips, but it's so moisturizing, especially in the winter when your lips are very dry and chapped. You definitely need a good chapstick in it, so I recommend this. It's just a normal chapstick, and it's cherry-flavored, and it smells amazing. Next is another, I think, winter essential, and it, these have been raved about on YouTube, and it is the Revlon Lip Butters. This is in... Very Smoothie 150. I don't I probably can't even tell that, but it is so pretty. It is just this really shimmery color, um, kind of pink. Really gorgeous. Absolutely love, love, love. Next is mascara. Um, these combination of these two mascaras have been, like, my life for the past, actually, like, two months, pretty much. Um, this is Maybelline's Falsies Volume Express. And... Black is Black, and this is the CoverGirl uh, Lash Blast, and it is in Very Black. Ooh! And these two together is amazing. I put this on first, and this just really makes your lashes big and long and um, voluminous, and it has a curved brush. And then I use this one on top. And this one is kind of dried out. I've had it for probably like three months now. And I know you're supposed to change like them every three months, but eh, I don't really care. So, um, and this is what the brush looks like. And I love putting this on top of this. And the brush for this, for Cover Girls, kind of just separates your lashes and makes them uh, a lot more spread out and big and stand out a lot more. So I love the combination of these two together. The next thing is this moisturizer, and it is the Cetaphil Moisturizer, um, Daily Force, Daily Facial Moisturizer in SPF 15, and it just comes in a big bottle, and I love this stuff. I think it's almost, I think it is actually better than the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer, and it's a lot cheaper. Um, you can find this at the drugstore rather than go to, like, Sephora and spend money on the other moisturizer and it's really nice it's so moisturizing especially in the winter when you get kind of like those dry spots and I have really dry skin from the chlorine so this has been my lifesaver I put this on ritually like three times a day and it's amazing um so go check this out it, I think it's better than Clinique so I would definitely go check it out and it's SPF 15 so it's really good and it's been making my skin so much more softer and not dry at all. So, love, love, love this. And I know they're known for their facial soap or, like, acne remove thing. I don't have that, and my sister does, and it smells, for me, I think it smells bad, but this just smells, it doesn't even smell like anything. Um, so it's good, and even if you have oily skin, it's for all skin types, so I'm sure it'd be fine to use this on as well. 
My next is nail polish. I am obsessed with nail polish. Nail polish is like my life. Um, there's one thing that I could go buy, makeup, clothes, nail polish. It'd probably be nail polish. Um, I'm just a quarter of nail polish. So, I have been loving these two nail polishes. The first one is Ballet, Ballet on Ice, and it is just this really pale pink color. You can barely see it on your nails. But what I've been loving about this is I put it underneath my actual nail polish color and this honestly works better than a base coat. Um, if you're worried about your nails kind of ruining because of the nail polish or you don't want to use the base coat, you don't, you, can, you don't, but you're sick of using a base coat or something like that, I would recommend putting on just like a nude polish, any type of nude polish. I just have this one. This is Wet wet shine. Um, I think it's Maybelline. Uh, this is probably really old too, but um, I absolutely love this and it really honestly makes my nail polish stay on a lot longer. I feel like base coats kind of make your nail polish peel off more so than if you just put the nail polish on, but that ruins your nails. So putting this on before isn't going to ruin your nails and it also kind of makes the color more opaque because it's more of a white pink rather than just putting it on the base of your nail with a clear coat. So I've been loving this. And then my other nail polish I love is OMB. I'm not a huge Justin Bieber fan, but this is from Nicole by OPI's Justin Bieber collection. And um, it is just this really, really shimmery red color. I think it is like the perfect true red for Christmas. And I wore this on Christmas, like two weeks before Christmas, Christmas, um, like the days of Christmas. And it is like the perfect red color. I love this in the winter and for winter or in the winter and in Christmas stuff. So, um, if you're looking for a really good color, I don't know if they still sell this, but I got this at Target. But I feel like maybe they don't sell this, but I love this color. Any shimmery red color I have been loving. So my last favorite of the month is this candle. And this candle is birthday cake. I love birthday cake candles. Um, just like the sweet kind of smell. And it's from TJ Maxx and it was $6. So if you go to like Bath and Body Works, you get like probably about this size for $10 and this was $6 and it smells so good as you can see I've used pretty much all of it up um, you can probably tell but it smells so sweet and so good so I've been loving this candle and I've been burning it so so much so that is my last favorite going on to TV show and YouTube and music favorites so my music favorite for the month hold on I need to look look at my iTunes Okay, so my music favorite of the month, one would have to be You and I by Ingrid Michaelson. I absolutely love that song. It's been around for a while, and I loved, I've loved i loved it for a while, but just the, this past, like, two weeks, I have been listening to it so much. My other one is the Glee Cast Christmas. I listened to that the entire month of December. No joke, from, like, beginning to end. I love that album. They have such amazing voice. I'm a Glee, um, so, you know. No wonder I'm going to love the album, but I think it was a really good Christmas song. They did a really wide variety. Um, I hope they would do, like, a Hanukkah song, because I want to see them sing Hanukkah. Like, I'm surprised they haven't done it since Rachel's supposed to be Jewish, but, um, yeah, I want to do them do a Hanukkah, them to do a Hanukkah song. Yeah, do a Hanukkah song. And the last favorite is L Megan and Liz did a cover. Well, it's not a cover, actually. It's their own song called It's Christmas Time, and I love that song. Um, I recently actually just discovered Megan and Liz. They make videos on YouTube, and um, they are amazing singers, so I'll link them down below, their YouTube thing, uh, their YouTube site. But um, I absolutely love, love, love them. They are amazing singers, and I've been loving that song. So those are my favorite songs of the month. On to YouTube. My YouTube favorite definitely would have to be Vlogmas, any type of Vlogmas whatsoever. But my top three, four, sorry, three, four, let's just do four. One can almost count as, two can almost count as one, is Luke and Ingrid, number one, hands down. They are hilarious. I absolutely love them. Luke's family is hilarious. I love his dad. If you don't know who Miss Glamorazzi is and Luke Connard are, you need to go check them out. They are amazing, but they also do vlogs, and it's the Grid Monster and Luke. Um, it used to be like Luke 2, I think, but now it's Luke. And I don't... And they are hilarious. I absolutely love them. So go check them out. Watch all their vlogs. Um, 
they're just hilarious. I, I just, like, it's something that, like, and the whole entire month of December, I get home from school and I'd be like, okay, let's do the what, new Vlogmas videos up. So, and then I'd be sad if there wasn't. So, I've been loving them. My other Vlogmas favorite is Florida Force, and my other one is It's Judy Time, uh, which is, uh, It's Judy's Life. So, and it's, I think it's Flor, I don't know, Florida Force is her beauty channel, but she has a vlog channel. I forget what it is, but, um, those have been my favorite YouTubers. I've just been loving any type of vlog video whatsoever. So, that is my YouTube favorites, and lastly, TV favorites would have to be Glee. They only had, like, two or three episodes, but that definitely is my favorite. I absolutely love, love, love Glee. Love it. So, yeah, those are my favorites, and I'm sure my favorite next month would be Pretty Little Liars and The Lion Game, because those are starting on Tuesday and Monday. Yay! I'm so excited because I absolutely love, 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 love Pretty Little Liars. Like, it's my life. If I don't watch the show the day, the night it comes out, I, like, freak out, so I have to. But, yeah, so I hope you guys like the favorite, my favorites video, and make sure to subscribe above, I think the button's above, above, and also, um, if you have a favorites video, link it down below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Have a good month of January. Yeah, January.